back. It's back. It's back. That's, that's another ride. We got to keep people out of here. So Sam Murray right now in the lead. Two serving zero on the head pen scoreboard. Well, thank Alex Lana for stopping by. We always love having pro players stop at the booth. Of course, some of the fans enjoy listening to their favorite players and ask them questions. Now Barbell trying to call that on himself. Yeah, he usually does. Point number three for Mr. Sam Murray. Big Canada. Can he continue moving forward? This would be a first for Sam. Wow, what a great shot by Beltran. I mean, it's, it's always. And we're here in the mezzanine. The Chihuahua boys on a table. Rodrigo Montoya, Javier Estrada, Javier Mar. Rodrigo Garay hanging out. A lot of the pros watching the matches. What a great venue, Dean. This has been a tremendous weekend so far. I want to remind everybody that tomorrow we have our quarterfinals. Semifinals. Semifinals and the final tomorrow. So this ends on a Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. Point number one for Alvaro Beltran. Is that an ace from Beltran? That was an ace serve by Alvaro Beltran, making it two, serving three on the head pen scoreboard. When he's hot, he's hot. Wow, point number three for Alvaro Beltran. Still early in game number two, but he's just taking control right now. That's a good serve. Beltran skipping another one. It seems that Alvaro gets mo some momentum going, Dean. As one as he starts getting the pace, skip. That's happened before. All throughout last game. Kill shot, Sam Murray regaining the lead once more. Looking for a screen serve, Beltran. And buries that into the right side corner. Front wall, side wall winner. Five serving four. Sam Murray moving up. But at least it's in the beginning of the game, it's a little closer. Had that been game one, like I was asking Alex Landa, if, you know, if Alvaro didn't have Sam out with a really big lead, psychologically, that will kind of chip away at the momentum from Sam Murray. Wow, Sam just handling that ball right on the money. Alvaro Beltran, his physical demeanor, a little bit frustrated.
he hasn't been really making it tough for Sam Murray. And you can see it on the scoreboard. That's a skip and another point for Alvaro, for uh, Sammy Murray rather. We're at seven serving four. We're in the middle of game number two. Can this be the first time that Samuel Murray defeats Alvaro Beltran? He's on pace to do it. It's possible. Yeah, one of the most gifted athletes in racquetball history. Naturally gifted. This is a, ha a hard working Sam Murray. I'd like to see, you know, I'd like to see Alvaro kind of throw a jam serve in there a little bit. Why not? I mean, he's using his lob serve very effectively. <laughs> what a cross court, but he has a beautiful setup. Alvaro a little bit in disbelief. This rally's been going on for so long. And Ooh, Sam Murray. Ace. Wow, getting the best of it. It seems the no pounding on the glass line isn't working here at the PAC. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're told, Fabio, that that's a suggestion. It's not a rule says to everyone pounding on the glass with a beer in their hand. Exactly. Well, this is like a hockey game. They shut down the upstairs bar like, you know, at the uh, in the middle of uh, the first, uh, the last match here, in the middle of game one. But I think they still have waiter service. Towel timeout. Yeah, they're going to wipe three quarters of the court up. Double timeout, sponsored by Service Master. Frank Cattle. Oh, Sam just wiped his head with a floor towel. That's never a good idea. If you're watching that at home, please do not try that at home. We are professionals. Let me tell you, if Sam Murray wins this match, he's going to keep doing that. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Well, it should make a difference, Dean. He is from Canada. They are superstitious. They are hockey players. If he knows that he did that and he wins this match, he's going to keep doing it. I would, and I know you would too. I want to say hello to in the chat box, uh, newly, in, well, not inducted yet, but elected to the Hall of Fame, the one, the only, Mr. Jason Menino. Jason, how are you? Uh, I've known Jason since he's a kid back in New York. Uh, I'm extremely happy for you to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And Jason, you're right. It's nice to see this many people watching. This place is packed. The bar downstairs jammed. Hello to Jason, all the way here from Wisconsin. Hope he's having a blast watching all the pros play. Between the legs, Beltran. It's appealing. He wants an avoidable. One up, one down. Call stands. Call stands. So it's point number eight for Big Canada, Sam Murray. Beltran looking. <laughs> Disagree. Two out, two down, overruled.
Murray, drive serve. Skipped in. Sam Murray, point number nine. Tell you the, Jason, you definitely will see me at the US Open. Nine. I can't wait to see you. Nine serving four on the head pen scoreboard. The wheels are coming off for Alvaro Beltran. Good to see Jason at the US Open this year. Haven't seen him in a while, Jason. Beltran says, I don't think so. I'm telling you, I think this is going to go break up, Fabio. I don't know. Ooh, Beltran barely got a racket on that one. Oh, big Canada. Giving us a rally. Crowd loves it. Towel timeouts coming up. Uh, Jason is Fabio Soto from Mexico. Great to see you watching, Racquetball. What do you think, uh, Jason, I have to ask you, I know you're gonna answer in the chat. What do you think of, you know, Alvaro Beltran still mixing it up with the young guys? <laughs> there we go, can never count Alvi out. There you go. Towel timeout again, sponsored by Service Master Restore. So Jason Menino, you actually have the, you are 14 wins, five losses against Alvaro Beltran. I just looked it up. So you know Alvaro very well. <laughs> the last time I saw Jason Menino play against Alvaro Beltran was at uh, Mexico Open in Racquetball Rio in Tijuana. This was about nearly 10 years ago. Jason was playing tour full time. Beltran, set up again. Good pickup from Beltran. Good shot, Beltran's looking. He's not getting any. Oh my God, Jason, of course you can get on the mic with me. Anytime, anytime. I, I will I will message you prior to the US Open. Uh, I will definitely message you prior to the US Open. Good serve from Murray. Set up off the back wall. Pick up Beltran. Skip Murray. Good rally for Alvaro right there, ladies and gentlemen. Good rally. I thought I thought it would be a little. Uh, I, I thought this crowd would be a little louder for a Friday night. I think they're just like us, Fabio. I think they're tired. <laughs> well, you know, I got I got to say, this crowd has been amazing. This venue has been amazing. Nothing short of it, because very faithful, very loyal, and very enthusiastic racquetball fanatics. And I'm imagining that tomorrow it's going to rock. Skip Alvaro Beltran. Like, you know what? Ah! Alex Landa said it perfectly. Alvi skipping too many balls, and that's not 
Alvaro Beltran like, and I, I, I expect better from him on this court because he's played here year in and year out. So he's used to this surface, used to this. The glass, yeah. Exactly. Murray, bullet down the line. Big Canada. Sam Murray. So Big Cannon on top, 10 serving six on the headpan scoreboard. Watch. <laughs> so Jason's asking, Jason, I took Fabio to LMB's when he was in New York. Fabio, what's your thoughts on LMB? Fantastic. <laughs> I loved it, and I can't wait to go again to LMB's. So I might have to pack some up and bring it to Minneapolis. Or Jason. Bring two while you're at it, Dean. Sam Murray on top by five, 11 serving six. Can this be it for Sam Murray? Can he take, finally, Alvaro Beltran? Two bounce, get. So he's telling, he's telling Scott, don't, you know, you can call the two-bounce get. Sam Murray's calling him because he's almost diving for that ball. You know, Alvaro never wants to spend any extra effort. It's a point right there for Alvaro Beltran. Seven serving 11 on the headpan scoreboard. Beltran... Wow, the Sorcerer Supreme making the ball just disappear and appear in that left corner. Crowd cheering him on. He is a crowd favorite here in Wisconsin. What a serve, Beltran. Sam Murray skipping one. So Beltran, two points away from Sam Murray. Yeah, you know, I, I fully expect Beltran to pull this game out. Wow, three walls. Alvaro just giving us a clinic here. So I think he's talking about how he can uh, he can make that shot anytime. Yes, Bamoni Gardens, L and B, Jason Menino, we will you're gonna have to remind me to bring some. But what a comeback here from Beltran. I can't even call it a comeback because you know you expect Alvaro to do this. Points are just coming easy for Alvaro Beltran right now. Sam Murray should take a timeout. 11-11 on the headpin scoreboard. What, once, yeah, there's the timeout. There you go. <laughs> just as you call it, Maybe Dean. Alvaro's calling it for him. I don't know. But he take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back on IRT Live.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. The players aren't. So once again, we want to thank all of the tour sponsors. Head, Pen, Rollout, MLG Holdings, Gearbox, Freight Management and Logistics, My Pillow. We definitely want to thank Service Masters. And we need to talk about our nonprofits. We got Rafa House, rafahouse.org. Reaching Your Dream Foundation, give to ryf.org, and then livelikejohn.us. Those are the three charities the RT supports. Please support them. That's John a skip, Alvaro Beltran. Finally regaining the lead in game number two. I think this is the first time he had a lead, period, in the match. Early on, he was 3 2. Okay. He was up by one. That's why I got Fabio here. He remembers everything. Alvaro playing to the crowd. He's, you know, he's, he's on the cusp of a technical. And you don't want that because what you don't want is an extra wow. point. Wow. You don't want to you don't have you won't you don't want to have to get 16 points to win. Well, we got to remember that uh, memorable match, Fullerton, back in October, Dean. Three technicals to Alvaro Beltran. Bullet serve from Sam Murray. Wow. Pass big, right down the line. Big Canada ties it up at 12 apiece. We are late and deep in this game number two, ladies and gentlemen. It's a race to three points. Short serve. Wow, great overhead pass, Alvaro Beltran. This is definitely going into the Alvaro Beltran favor here. Uh, even though it's tied up at 12, it just smells of a Beltran pullout here for uh, game two, and this is a tiebreaker. So they're gonna make us work overtime. They always like to, especially in the last match. Wanna say hi to my friend Mario Hernandez who's watching on YouTube. Beltran, 12, Murray, 12, Beltran in the box. Big short right there. Set up Beltran, cross court, Murray grabs it. Beautiful down the line. Wow. Beltran is working overtime, Fabio. He is definitely working overtime, giving us a show as always now. But Alvaro Beltran, again, retaking the lead, 13 serving 12. We've got a towel time out there. Towel timeout sponsored by Service Master. Now, uh, I. I thought he was sending uh, Alvaro to, ch Alvaro's not really diving. <laughs> Beltran, beautiful. Perfect wow. down the line shot, Alvaro Beltran. 
and it is 14 serving 12. Something that we thought we might not see in Alvaro Beltran game point versus Murray. And it is an ace. Beltran. We will have a tiebreaker. The crowd loves it. The Thompson twins are here. They're loving it. We love it. Do you love it? Stick around. We'll be back in two minutes for the start of game three. It will be game 211 right here on IRT Live. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets. I guarantee you they'll be the most comfortable sheets you'll ever own. With the Giza Dream sheets, I'm getting the best sleep of my life. I do not like my sheets. I love my Giza Dream sheets. I guarantee you the first night you sleep on my sheets, you'll never want to sleep on anything else. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now. Giza Dreams are made with the finest, most sought-after cotton in the world. MyPillow Giza Dream sheets are available in a variety of colors and will be the softest, most comfortable sheets you will ever own. And listen to this. For a limited time, when you use your promo code, Mike will send you a second set of Giza Dream sheets absolutely free. That's two sets of sheets for the price of one. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. What keeps me going in racquetball is my family, everybody who supports me, and just the feel of a win at the end of a tournament is what keeps me going. That's all I need. Winning is something you just can't explain to somebody unless they've felt it before. You know all the hard work has paid off and you've tried so hard to get to that point and you finally do it and it's amazing. I'm Holly Scott, I play for Gearbox and you should too. The presentation support uh, a lot of players. Uh, they help with uh, expenses and uh, room and all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of help for, for all the players. It uh, motivates all the players to, to, to play more tournaments, to train harder, to keep our level high. It makes me feel special because they are uh, really nice people. They, they treat you nice. They make you feel like, like you're, you're important. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the start of the tiebreaker here on IRT Live. Sam Murray will serve. New shirt, both players. Tiebreakers to 11. One appeal. Wow, what hands from Beltran. He missed that shot. Is that a skip? It seems it is. Yeah. So Murray strikes first. One's serving zero. Dro Sam Murray draws first blood here. Good way to start it off. Oh, my buddy Federico from Long Island is watching. Sam Murray, 1-0. Skipped it in, Beltran. So, uh, Fabio, in, in my opinion, I don't think Beltran has a care in the world what his opponents has as far as score. I think he looks at it that he just needs to get 11. And not, so if his opponent has 10, he doesn't care until his opponent has 11. I think he's just gonna be cool as a cucumber. Beltran. Wow, wow great crack, shot. Hit the sidewall, crack, and rolled out. What a great shot there by Big Canada. So it's again, one serving zero on the headpan scoreboard. Short ball. Call stand. And he has no appeals left. That's not a good appeal. It's very similar to the Rocky Carson appeal in the tiebreaker in Los Compadres. Wait. 
No, but even appeal in his own serve, it would have been a, he would have had first serve. The only way Samari can now appeal is if it's for match point. That's the only way. Replay, hit the box. Hit the box. Hit the Pablo box. <laughs> so Sam says two serves, and Alvaro goes, no, one. <laughs> Wow, what a down the line bullet by Beltran. Big heat by the Sorcerer Supreme and Sam Murray. Towel timeout sponsored by Service Master Restore. So, a uh, Mike, uh, the best pillow in my bed is a my pillow. That's absolutely correct. So, once again, Dean Bear in the, the broadcast booth and with me is Mr. Fabio Soto. We are the IRT team here and our production manager is Pablo, just Pablo. Like Madonna. Short serve Beltran, so we want to thank Pablo for his hard work today. Our team works very hard to bring you racquetball. Pablo is sick, and he's still pushing the buttons. Good shot from Beltran. That's point. another point right there on the board. You know, once the referee makes a call, Sam Murray has to do nothing but listen because he can't appeal. Short serve. Good pickup from Beltran. Just out of the reach of Alvaro Beltran. Barely made it. Nobody does it better than Beltran. I told you, Fabio, when he spins, it's never. Never disappoints. One serving one on the headpan score. This is a race to 11, everybody. Alvaro Beltran has his appeal. Both players have their timeouts. Sam Marie has no appeals. Wow, what a great shot by Beltran. You know, talking to the referee, he did have a clean shot, but he learned this lesson ever from before. He had to take it or he wasn't get called. Nothing called. Trying to listen to what Alvaro is asking. Just reminding the referee that that same play was made in the last game, did not come out in his favor, but he withheld. So again, two serving one. Sam Murray should he should be on his another shirt change soon. 
I mean, you could see the sweat coming through that orange shirt. Hands wow. Alvaro Beltran, Fabio. Wow. Let's see if Beltran can keep this lead until the end of it. Just a two-point lead, not comfortable yet. Beltran bringing the heat. Very un-Beltran-like. That's true. But it's nice to see that he has the heat also. Alvi missed that one. That got hung up in the glass, I'm sure. One serving three in the head fan scoreboard. Big Canada. We are winding down, Fabio. We are. So coming up on our next match. No, I'm just kidding. Diving get Beltran. Wow. <laughs> Beltran, Alvaro's, uh, uh, he's making like he's rolling in a, uh, in a wheelchair. Three serving one again. Diving get there by Beltran. He tried to make it two in a row. Not gonna happen. We're gonna have another towel timeout. I'm back in. Ooh, behind the back, Beltran puts that up top. I don't know what Sam's holding his head. That's out, out of play. Sam said he hit the, you have no appeals. I, I don't think it hit the box. I just think he, it was a bad shot. Fabio, did you see that? I didn't see it hit the box either, Dean. All this and it's one serving three, Fabio. We've been stuck here for a while, ladies and gentlemen. I know. I think we want to just change the score just so that we can move along. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be fair to either player. 
There's been talk, Fabio, about going to rally scoring. Sudden death scoring? Good. No, rally scoring. Rally scoring. Maybe, well, that, maybe that should just be for the tiebreaker. Tiebreaker, yeah. We still give you two games the regular way. What do you guys think? <laughs> Sam's like, now it hit the box. You saw that one. There you go. He's happy for that call. So again, one serving three in the headpan scoreboard. So Murray at two. Fabio. That's a good serve. Point finally breaking away. Oh, it's away. back at one. You're right. Now it's two. Breaking away from that one. Now it's two serving three on the headpan scoreboard. I'd like to know what Bertan is going to talk to the referee about. He thought it hit the box, too. <laughs> so... So we have Short a tight serve, three serving three. It's still packed here for a late night. The bar is packed downstairs, too. So we got two levels of people. Point, Point. Sam Murray regaining lead. Started off at 1 0. Now he's four serving three. Three point run for Sam Murray. Disagree, disagree. Hashtag just a replay. Just a replay. Alvaro is well aware of when he gets a ball. I think he is all over that. No return. I don't know if that was an ace or not, but no return. Five serving three. Sam Murray on a roll here. Four point run. Looks like this could be the day for Sam Murray to take the Alvaro Beltran monkey off his back. Amazing. Side out. Beltran. Trans serving. Points. So he has no appeals, just to remind everybody. He wanted to appeal, but he has none. So he's calling what is What's the call is, Sam Murray's appealing a play. He does not have any appeals. That's, Fabio, that's one of the reasons why when you have no appeals or when you appeal, the, the referee lets the player know how many appeals are left. So one of the things that, I, that I've noticed right now is Sam Murray got a technical for asking for an appeal. 
when he had none, so it's four serving four. I understand that he has no technical zine. I get that. No, no appeals. He has no appeals. But just because he called one, he got an appeal. He got a technical. It's late, Fabio, I know. Yeah, I think that that should be the call, uh, you know, that it's, you know, you you get a technical for delay the game. You don't get a technical for asking for an appeal. Four, serving four still. So San Marie, in order to win this match, has to score 12. We've been on the air since, what, short serve. Broken ball, short serve. Uh, Fabio, we've been on since, what, 10 a.m. Central, no, 11 a.m. We've been on the air since 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, this is our seventh broadcasting match of the day. We are tired, it is late, and it is gonna be an 11-10 tie. Chris, you're right, it's gonna be an 11-10 tiebreaker. So Jason, uh, Jason Menino once again is, Alvaro is 41 years old, absolutely correct, Jason. And, uh, <laughs> and Sam Murray is 26. This has become, Dean, an Iron Man match. Who has, who has the advantage, Jason? The 41-year-old or the 26-year-old here <laughs> at in this last quarterfinal matchup. Wow. What a pass by Beltran. A great cross court action right there by Beltran. Still 4-4. Four, four. Alvaro gets the return he wants. And here's his setup. And what a punch down the line by Beltran. So Jason is, I agree with you, age and treachery always defeats young youth and talent. <laughs> so that, in other words, Jason, the old man wins. <laughs> Oldie but goody. Yeah, Alvaro's like, he's like wine. Fernando Batista once again too. You know, Alvaro just has, you know, a, a plethora of, he's gonna. He's gonna so he's a gonna, good shot is called right there. Appeal. Disagree, disagree, point Beltran. But you see what Alvaro did, he, he, asked. he asked first, do I have an appeal? Yes, I appeal. <laughs> Very smart of Alvaro Beltran. It's as simple as that. Alvaro, if the referee says, he, no, you have no appeal, then you continue play. Second opportunity for the Sorcerer Supreme. Good shot, Alvaro even acknowledged it. Wow, Big Canada, very aggressive. Good pick up Beltran, Murray shoots. Beltran picks that one up.
Be good shot down the line, Beltran. Six, serving four. For Alvaro, it's five. For Murray, it's seven. For an object detected in the, in the court, Alvaro Beltran puts it away. Another point, Alvaro Beltran. Sam Murray stuck at four. Seven serving four. If Alvaro Beltran scores point number eight, it would be a good time for Sam Murray to use his timeout. What a shot down the line, Alvaro Beltran. That floor is soaked, ladies and gentlemen. So a towel timeout here taken. Sponsored by Service Master Restore. So we're deep in the tiebreaker. As these two gentlemen have given us the best match of the evening with an Ironman match. Uh, Jason, Alvy is in shape. I don't know if round, round is considered a shape. No, Alvy is in great shape. Ab absolutely, Jason, I agree with you. I think he's making Sam change his shirt once again, deep into the tiebreaker. Well, you know, because here, here's, I want to welcome Rocky Carson into the chat box. So, you know, Sam Murray's going to dive even when he has no opportunity to get the ball, and that's causing delays. So changing the shirt is definitely in order, Fabio. Definitely in order. So resume play, Alvaro Beltran. Ocho serviendo cuatro. There you go. So Beltran, three points away from moving on to take on Kane Waslin Chuck tomorrow at one. Alvaro might have like an hour break before he has to play his semifinal match <laughs> if this finishes sometime tomorrow. Sam gonna step, no, changes his mind. Beltran is missing them again, Fabio. Every time that Alvaro has seemed to have a clear advantage, he skips every single time during this match. There, there's certain, I mean, it, there's just seemed to be some layups that Beltran usually kills. Sam Murray drive serves. Cuatro sabiendo ocho. Skip again. He had a clear shot down the line. It was a correct shot, but poorly executed. That's his frustration. Five serving eight. You know, it goes back to your comment earlier, Fabio. Um, that Alvaro is definitely making this difficult with the amount of skips. I mean, he had he had Sam Murray just going the wrong way. He was covering the pinch. Alvaro had made the right shot down the line. He just didn't have to roll it. All he had to do was make the front wall. Now Beltran wipes the floor. And now we're at six serving eight on the headpin scoreboard. Another towel timeout. 
sponsored by Service Master Restore, Mr. Frank Catalano. Sam Murray staying nice and warm while Alvaro, so just so you know, you know, whoever obviously makes the dive and has to, they, you're responsible to clean up your own uh, kind of wet spot, if so to speak, on the court. So we have a great one here. It's always one of the best ones of the night and it's six serving eight on the head pen scoreboard. Murray serving in the service box. Good serve from Murray, set up. Murray, that was another mistake from Beltran. And a mistake he paid for with another point. So now it's seven serving eight. <laughs> Both of the gentlemen have their timeouts left. Fernando, yes, I, we, we enjoyed the Girl Scout cookies from your grandchildren. Timeout. Timeout, Timeout Alvaro Beltran. Should we stay here? You, you need a break, Fabio? I want to stay here. Come on. We got... We got all these players right here. Let's let's bring in let's bring in Sebastian Fernandez. Sebastian, come on over here. What what do you think of this match so far? Uh, I, you you play with Alvaro Beltran a lot. What do you think he's doing wrong? Um, I've only seen the third game, but what I've seen right now is that Alvi's, as you said, making too much skips. He has easy shots for down the line but he's just extending the rally. Murray's really fast, but I mean, Alvi has the experience to end the rallies even faster, but. Does he skip those balls when he plays with you no, back in Tijuana? He does not do that when he plays with me, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, you better give him some a little good advice. Players are coming back. Thank you, Sebastian. So here we have it. I think this will be finished and done right here, Fabio. There will be no more timeouts. Alvaro changed his shirt. Does that mean he has three shirts? Are you kidding? It is. Seven <laughs> serving eight now in the head pen scoreboard. Samuel Murray is coming back from behind. One point away from Beltran. Let's see if this icing of the kicker, so to speak. No, that's Bel a good timeout. That favors Beltran. Second serve. Winner, winner, Alvaro Chicken Beltran. Dinner. Great time, Jason, you're right, great time out. Alvaro was a little fatigued and the timeout helps. I wanna say hi to my daughter, Olivia, who's watching. It's almost it's almost your bedtime, Olivia. Glad Olivia's watching. <laughs> Just want to say I'm tired of watching foren forensic files, Olivia. <laughs> Penalty hinder. That's a really good call. To be honest, Sam shot the ball right back to himself. Whether it was on purpose or an accident, that's a penalty, Fabio. So nine serving seven. Sam Murray cannot appeal. Side out again. Just like Sebastian Fernandez mentioned, Alvaro is extending rallies. He's getting into things he really shouldn't. And here we are. Sam Murray. Lo and behold. Seven nine? Seven nine. Wow. Point Murray again. No screen. Within sir. one. Wow. Alvaro wanted a, a, a screen serve, didn't get it. Shaking his head. But you see, not now focused. Murray serving. Short serve. 
And this is where Alvaro Beltran comes and plays his best when the odds are stacked against him. We saw it in game number two. He just came back and took it. Well, he was really wound up against the odds. Now he is right now. He's up by one, but remember, this is only to 11. He's gonna start playing smart. What a great shot by Alvaro Beltran. Some may say that's a terrible shot. It was three feet high, but Murray is in the front of the court. Alvaro was not missing like he missed that last one. Definitely great not. Great shot, Alvaro Beltran. What a drive serve from Beltran. Set up, turns, forehand, reverse pinch. Beautiful down the line. Beltran with his first match point. Just want to remind everybody, Dean, that if in case there is a questionable call, Sam Murray can appeal because it will be match point. He can appeal right now. Yeah, but he probably doesn't know that. Beltran serving for the match. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a match. Wow, huh? Ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what, wow, wow. What a fascinating match. So Alvaro Beltran takes this game 11-15, 15-12, 11-8. Dean, I am surprised. What a great event. And you know what? Good for Samuel Murray. He was close. You know, I, I just, once it went to a tiebreaker, I just know that that's Beltran's zone. Um, and and I, don't, I, I don't think that anything was going to be different. I agree with you. And so, well, we will be back shortly, ladies and gentlemen, with player interviews. We are going to be interviewing Alvaro Beltran, the one and only, right here on IRT Live. We'll be back in a minute. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets. I guarantee you they'll be the most comfortable sheets you'll ever own. With the Giza Dream sheets, I'm getting the best sleep of my life. I do not like my sheets. I love my Giza Dream sheets. I guarantee you the first night you sleep on my sheets, you'll never want to sleep on anything else. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now. Giza Dreams are made with the finest, most sought-after cotton in the world. MyPillow Giza Dream sheets are available in a variety of colors and will be the softest, most comfortable sheets you will ever own. And listen to this. For a limited time, when you use your promo code, Mike will send you a second set of Giza Dream sheets absolutely free. That's two sets of sheets for the price of one. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So, Alvaro, that was a marathon. You put overtime in use. Uh, but I have to ask you, uh, Sam played great. Um, but you made too many skips, too many opportunities. We were even asking to uh, Sebastian Fernandez. He said, Alvaro doesn't do that when he plays me. Oh, yeah, well, I do <laughs> when he beats me. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I got to give credit to uh, Samuel. He, uh, he pushed me. He was making me run. So uh, when you're 41, man, it gets tougher and tougher. But, uh, but yeah, I probably, I probably miss more than uh, I normally do. But um, I got to give credit to Samuel. Well, Jason Menino is in the chat box, and he said age and uh, experience always trumps, uh, you know, youth and talent. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he knows a little bit about racquetball. <laughs> a little bit. I think he's 15 wins and four losses against you. I, I pulled it up because I was talking about it. <laughs> uh, I, I beat him the last three times. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I know he's going to come back with something. But, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, I want to say uh, hi, uh, hi to Jason. Uh, I'm glad he's, uh, he's watching, and uh, hopefully he comes back uh, in uh, some tournament. Yeah, he said he's going to be at the U.S. Open, so we're going to look forward to that. So, Alvaro, um, you're, over the last couple of years, you're one of the only players to, you know, actually win a match against Kane. You're going to take him on what seems like in a couple of hours, but it's actually tomorrow at 1, uh, at 1 p.m. Uh, 
Do you feel like it could happen again? Look, I just want to do better than last time. <laughs> last time was not a good outing. Hey, so I, I can only go, uh, uh, I, I can only do better, right? Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward, like always, uh, playing against the number one player in the world. Uh, it's always uh, fun. Uh, you don't need any extra motivation. You, you don't. You don't need to like uh, uh, do some uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, yoga, and you don't have to. It's e it's easy to get ready for a match like that. So uh, I'm looking forward. Uh, I, I hope uh, he will bring it like always, and and I look forward to a good match. Hopefully for the people, right? Absolutely. So Alvaro. Um Let's say thank you to some of your sponsors, and I don't know if you want to talk in Spanish as well. Feel free. Uh, I think my Spanish is worse than my English. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, like uh, like always to Gearbox, Rafa, uh, Virna, Joel, all the all the people in uh, uh, Gearbox, uh, and now my new sponsor, OH, OHC, uh, my friend Tony Ramirez. And I want to say uh, hello to my family, friends, and to the people from Chula Vista, National City, San Diego, San Isidro, Tijuana. Uh, saludos a todos. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for our seven matches today here on IRT Live. We'll be back tomorrow, uh, 12 and 1 Central Standard Time. Our first match of the day will be Alejandro Landa taking on Mario Mercado. Quickly following that will be Kane Wasslenchuk taking on Alvaro Beltran. We'll see you tomorrow right here on IRT Live. You're about to witness one of the fastest sports in the world with a ball traveling at speeds close to 200 miles per hour. Sacrifice. Fearless. Passion. You have to be a little crazy. The ball's moving up to 200 miles an hour. I'm trying to push it to three.